You can't fucking make me do shit. You can't make me do a goddamn thing. No. No. Yo, man. The fuck? You all right? Wait, what the hell? What the fuck? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ass was so fat, like, I couldn't even believe it. <laughs> yeah, but how about them titties, you know? I ain't much of a melons, man. I'm more about that cushion put a pushing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. But, um, how about the whole package, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if you had to choose, which one is it? Ass or titties? Mike, talk to you for a sec. Hey, get in there. What's going on, Swede? Mike, you've been hearing about the killings that have been going around the neighborhood? Kill killings? Yeah, word on the street is. There's a psycho that's been just going out at night and killing people. Cops have been snooping around the bar, saying that the killer might be coming around here. know something about this? No, 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 I mean like, you know, shit. Like, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why they would think this. Anyway. Just want you to keep a good lookout. Be safe. I'm gonna talk to um, Cruz and Dwayne about the same thing. All right. Yo, Swade. Thanks for everything. What was all that about? It was, uh. nothing. Say nothing's one more time, I won't believe you. 
<laughs> Come on, Mike. What was that all about? It's about that girl I was with last week. No. Wait, what? Come on, man. You know that girl, Jules? The one I was with last week? Man, we hooked up, but then I ain't never seen her again. Hmm. They say her body washed up ashore. They said she was strangled. Yeah, man, the cops were here earlier asking about her. Shit is crazy, man. It's fucked up. Yeah. Hey, Mike, you all right? If Cruz knew what we were doing down here, he would kill me. Well, he is not going to find out. This is going to stay between us. Okay? All right. You sure about that? Yes. Because all I want is you. Yeah, he was just telling me to, you know, uh, stop coming in late, you know, and, uh, he'll cruise, you know, you know, just really, you know, watch your back since there's a killer running around, you know? Yeah. Well, I hope they find his ass. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Cause it wasn't me. Some men are born evil, but others get twisted, beaten, and scarred, choking for air until they have no choice but to kill. My name is Michael Russo, and I have a fucking problem. Schizophrenia is a disorder that affects a person's ability to feel, think, and behave clearly. The exact cause is unknown, but a combination of genetics, environment, and altered brain structure and chemistry may play a role. Here. Try these, Michael. This may help. Also, I recommend writing in a notepad from time to time. Studies show that this has helped some deal with this disorder. This is so... Um, this is permanent. And that's when I knew I had to do something. I had to stop this. I knew it was time to change Malcolm.
You did right by killing that dick. I wouldn't give you an A-plus for the kill, but you did a good job. That knife to the throat was the best part. Did you see how fast the blood poured out? I don't know why I let you talk me to this kind of thing. I don't want to do it anymore. You know I can get ready any time, right? You can't deny that we are in a great team, Michael. No matter what, I will always be here with you. There is no getting rid of me. The psychiatrist says if I take those little pills, you'll go away. I live here now, and I'm not going anywhere. No! I will not do it again. I don't feel the same way I used to. Damn it, Michael. You will fucking do it if I tell you to. You'll never get me to leave. Take all the pills you want, but I'm here. What would you do without me anyway? You are nothing without me. I am something. I'm better than this. See that? I took the pill so you leave me the fuck alone. Killing is in you with me or without me. You'll get that feeling you've always had. Then you'll go out and do it again and again and again. You are sloppy without me. You need me. Michael. <laughs> I can't. And I won't. Michael, you know you can't commit to taking those pills long enough to keep me away. I give it two days and you'll give up like you always do. I'm sticking with this time. I can't live like this. I just put a knife into a guy's throat because he... Listen to me, you fuck. Nobody's twisting your arm to do a damn thing. I just make suggestions. You are the one without the spine. You have never said no, and now you're saying no? Wow, I don't believe it. You just love to point fingers, don't you? It's the truth. Now stop talking to me. Wake the fuck up! Oh. No. No way. I'm sleeping. Get your ass up! I'm up. I'm up. About time. We have work to do. I thought I told you I was done doing all that. Please, just one more for old time's sake. This will be the last one, I promise. Why do I let you talk me this kind of shit? What the fuck am I thinking? Leave the thinking to me, I've got this. Let's go get in the car. I scoped out a place between here and our last kill. Go Gregory and left on mule.
You better get that. I'm sure you know who it is. You sloppy bastard. <laughs> I'm not sloppy. I'm just over this whole thing with you. Hello. We're doing a house to house. Uh, we're looking for this uh, missing girl. Have you ever seen this woman? Her name is Becky Swanson. She was last seen over on uh, Gregory Drive, not too far from here. I'm uh, Detective Swain. What's your name? Uh, Malcolm. Uh, no, sir, I haven't seen her before. Uh, how long has she been missing? Uh, two days now. There's uh, two search teams been out looking for her for the last 24 hours. Uh, the, after the first 24 hours, her family realized she was not coming back. I wish it could be more helpful, but you know, I don't know her, sir. Oh, you know her. That's the girl on the lake. You stabbed her 25 times and left her insides hanging out. It's not true. Did you say something? No, sir, I've, I've got a cold now. I was just coughing. Oh. Uh, if, I, if I see here anything, I'll give you a call. Oh, okay. Well, here's, uh, here's my card. Just uh, call if you hear anything. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Now do you believe me? He's on to you, Malcolm. No, he's not. He's just doing a house to house looking for that girl. Malcolm, are you that fucking ignorant? He's got you in his scope. I promise you, I'll make you a deal. If he doesn't come back in the next two days, I'll give you a break. I'll take that bet, but what happens if he does? Then it's confirmed. He's on your trail. Don't let your guard down. I'll give him one day, actually. Tomorrow by noon, we will see him again. This time will be worse than the last. I swear this to you. I'm the smart one, remember? You would be worried if he does come back. Well, he's going to ask you a series of questions. He will no longer ask if you know the girl. He will assume you do. As long as you keep your shit together, we can get through this. I'll coach you, but this time, don't talk to me out loud, you fucking idiot. Don't you ever call me an idiot. You are the one fucking up, idiot. I'm gonna go to sleep for a few hours. Will you please leave me alone for three hours? Just three hours. That's all I'm asking. With a record shortage of truckers, the trucking industry is down 80,000 drivers. Would you call this an emergency? Well, it's certainly getting to a crisis level. Derek Letters is the CEO of Warner. Again, uh, this is Detective Harrelson. He's working with me on the Becky Swanson case. So, oh, Harrelson, I'm coming to ask you a couple questions. Um, I'm already promised to swing, but I don't know the truth. Well, uh, it'll only take a few minutes. Sure. <sighs> Detective Swain stopped by earlier and asked if you heard of Becky Swanson. I want to ask you again do you know anything about her disappearance? No. I've already told you, I do not know a Becky Swanson. You know, we're really uh, tired of asking, uh, Malcolm. All the bodies are piling up here in this neighborhood for months now, and all the fingers are pointing to you. Then why haven't you arrested me? Ask me to come down to the station. We've figured that you'd be more comfortable in your own surroundings. We also know about your psychological problems. They've got us, Malcolm. The ball is in their court. Yeah, we, uh, we know about your three years in state prison. Uh, we work a lot on the mental illness cases. Uh, Detective uh, Harrelson here is also a certified psychologist. 
we want you to take a DNA test. We found some skin under the fingernails of a victim near Mull two weeks ago. Young man with his head bashed in right outside his apartment. Relax, Malcolm. We will still be together no matter what. I'm not going anywhere. I've told you that for years. Oh yeah, I won the bet, so I get to stay. You can either go with us right now, or we can take you downtown. Either way, we're gonna keep an eye on you until those test results come back. So will you agree to take the test? Or do we need to get order from the judge? You will need to get that order. I'm not giving you my DNA. Let's go. Shit. Stay here till this is all over. Sir, yes, sir. You better hurry. They'll be back in no time. I'm going as fast as I can. Let's get the hell out of here. Shut the fuck up. Motherfucker, he's gone. Well, look, we'll put on an APB, but I'm pretty sure he's long gone by now. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, you son of a bitch. You're him. You're the guy everyone's looking for. You're Michael. Or, or, or Malcolm? What now? You seem to know everything. You are one fucked up man. Shut the fuck up, let me think! You've always got something to say! Well, what are you going to do? You have to get rid of the body, you ignorant fool. You know how you are one dumb fuck? You've gotten too sloppy. You've got no way to talk to me this way. I'm doing the best I can. I'll take him and throw him in the woods somewhere. Yeah, such a brilliant idea. You are a fucking idiot. What did I tell you about? Call me that! What are you going to do about it, Michael? I've told you before. I can quit you anytime. You can't, and damn it, you won't. You belong to me, Michael. 
I'll never give up on you like everyone else. Your mommy and daddy hated you, remember? That's why they threw you off into that group home. You are still a piece of shit human being. If I could, I'd throw your ass away too. But where would you be with- Fuck off me! I can live! I was living just fine before you. Were you, Michael? Were you really living? Yeah. You had a dead-end job, you were barely hanging on to a place to live, and that girl you liked wouldn't give you the time of day. Look at you now. You grew a pair of balls. Finally! Fuck you! I was doing just fine! Sure, I've had some bad luck. But not as bad as I do when I'm with you! I'm a good person. You believe that, don't you? <laughs> Michael Russo is a good person. <laughs> no! Talking. Don't make me beg. Please shut the fuck up till this is done. Stop right there! What did I do wrong, officer? Officer Cho, what are you doing out here? Play stupid, Michael. I was walking on the main road, and somehow I got lost. I heard a sound in the woods. Let's see what it was. The woods are back that way. What are you doing here? Let me see your ID. I lost my wallet the other day, but I got it reordered. It should be coming in the mail. I've got a pretty good idea of who you are. Who am I? Michael Russo, a.k.a. Malcolm Russo. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Make this easy on yourself. <coughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, you want to be appointed. Do you understand? Say no. Say no! Yeah, I understand. You motherfucker. Russo! Fuck up! Have you not learned anything from me? I told you, stop talking to me out loud around other people. You had a slip up with a drink of Swain. You barely pulled that one off. Fuck you, Russo. Fuck you too, Joe. He's heading home tonight with no plans. Did my 12 hour shift and thought I was done. And I'll run to you. We'll be fine, Michael. Don't let him scare you. You never guess who's in my car. Michael Russo. I'm bringing him home now. You know, Malcolm, these bodies have been piling up for quite some time now. But we can't tie you to all of them. Except maybe uh, that young man off of Gregory and uh, the Swanson case. They've got us, Malcolm. They have the DNA evidence they need to put us away for life. Worst case, the chair. I told you that we would get to the truth, Malcolm. But I also know that you know more than you're leading on. Don't tell them shit, Malcolm. Who the fuck do you think you are to do this to people? Do you know how many lives that you have ended and torn families apart? 
We're sure that you have done this many times. We've been so close for a while now. Finally, we have something on you. And I'm sure this place will be one hell of a lot safer with you off the streets. Don't give up. We are screwed, but two is all they have on you. There is at least ten more that they aren't sure of. We want the truth, Malcolm. But we can give you a deal if you're honest with us. Help these people find closure in their lives. You took the loved ones from them. You didn't bat an eye. Don't do it. I'm so sick of you. I need to get this off my chest. I knew you weren't strong enough to handle this life. I am strong enough! Who the hell are you talking to? No one. Tell us everything, Malcolm, and we can help you. You're only confirming what we already know. I mean, we already have six bodies out here that are unsolved. But we also have more missing persons in the area. Come on, just give us something. We can start from the beginning if you want. We would prefer that you do. Okay, okay. I just want to be free again. I'm not going to be able to grant you freedom. But uh, I can find somebody to help. But we can sit here all night and all day tomorrow. But we will get it out of you. I'll tell you the truth. Are you willing to give a full confession? Because if so, you're going to need this. I'm going to tell you to everything. From the beginning. You know, maybe seeing some of these will uh, jog your memory. This first one is Yvette Melchin. She was killed in her home October of last year. We've had no leads on this one. Is this some of your work? Yeah. Yeah, I killed her. The voice speaks through me sometimes. Voice? What do you mean, voice? I mean what I said. The voice speaks through me and tells me what to do. I try to fight him, but I can't. The voice is bullshit! You are a brutal psychopath with no remorse. You knew what you were doing. Now what happened with Miss Melchin? It was dark and I had pretend that my car had broken down. I went to her door. She let me use her phone. She wasn't so lucky because she had started a fire in the kitchen. I had to run to stop her. I followed behind. So, Miss Melchin was your very first victim? I mean, this is the time to be honest with us, Malcolm. There is no going back. We have you on three counts of first degree murder as of now. I know. I am being honest. No, she wasn't my first. We, uh, we said to start from the beginning. Do you remember that big house fire about two years ago? The one all over the news and they said it was an electrical fire? Yeah, well, that was me. You killed a family of four, you know that, right? You killed two children, you sick fuck! I'm not exactly proud of that one. It's a long story. You know what? We're here till this is finished. There's no time limit. Tell us everything, Malcolm. All right. I'll tell you. It was kind of cold out that night. It was around December. I remember because I was wearing a thick coat. I had spied on the man and woman for about a week. I did know of the children, but they weren't who I was after. They were just there and 
it was time, so when the house went up in flames, I honestly didn't care that they were in there. I waited till they all went to bed. I went into the man woman's room and I slit both their throats. I started the fire in there. I doused the room with gasoline and lit a matchbook. I got out as soon as I could. The children were still sleeping. Were those the only children you've killed? Or is there more? Yes, they are the only ones. I don't make a habit of killing children. They were just there and I didn't give one fuck to get them out. You are one sick fuck. You know that, don't you? Wait! Get a hold of yourself! A bitch! Do that! That sick son of a bitch needs to die just like one of these victims! I agree. But we have to do this the right way. You are not the judge. You do that again. My mouth is closed. Don't fucking touch me. He won't. He won't. I promise. Now go ahead. Those are my first kills. The first kill by strangulation was this one. He's actually my first one on one. I killed him in the park one night. That was a year and a half ago. It was night, as usual. He was jogging, and I ran up behind him and overpowered him. I dragged him in the woods and left him there. The next one. This one. This girl asked me for a ride one night. She came on to me and then drove me nuts. <laughs> she said she was a prostitute. Said she bought me for fifty dollars. <laughs> so I took her to a secluded area, about a mile from home, and stabbed her in the stomach. They got behind her in the back seat and wrapped a rope around her neck until she stopped breathing. And look at they get her blood all over my seat. She put up a hell of a fight, though. That's four now. You are talking yourself into a grave. Have you lost your mind? I haven't lost my fucking mind. Who are you talking to, Malcolm? Just tell him. You're so big on being honest these days. It's the voice. He keeps talking over and over and over again. Just go away! Thank you for your honesty. We still think you're a sick fuck. But now we can start giving these families some kind of a closure. You will fry for this. You got that? Stop it. We got him. We finally got him, Swade. We are going to fry. I told you to stop while you were ahead. They will never stop us. We have work <laughs> to do. <laughs>
All right. Well, I'll take attendance and we can begin. Christopher? Here. Okay. Julia? I'm here. All right, fantastic. Brian? Sup? Okay, greetings, Brian. Michael? Malcolm. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm here. Well, welcome. Now, who would like to go first today? Oh, please, not everyone all at once. I'll, I'll go. All right, Christopher. How did you sleep? I had another freaking wet dream! Now, Christopher, I don't believe that's what I meant when I talked about staying open in these sessions. Julia, how did you sleep? Can I skip? Now, Julia, you won't be making any progress by skipping. Okay. I didn't sleep. I was up journaling. It's the only way I can get these fucking thoughts out of my head. What kind of thoughts? It's these voices. It's tons of them. I hear these conversations and it's, it's revolting. I need more medication. Please, Dr. Marcus. Now, Julia, we've talked about this. We have to gradually increase your medication to stay on the safe side, okay? Brian, how did you sleep? Good. Any dreams? Yeah. Um, the day I leave this shithole. <laughs> how about you, Malcolm? Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was just, uh... Having a conversation with somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. Julia here has schizophrenia just like you. You're not alone in this. You'll always be alone. You'll always be nothing, Michael. That's just it. All I want is to be alone. That voice is certainly overwhelming you, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Well, all you've got to do is take your medication and tell him to fuck off. Michael, I don't like this guy. Don't take any more of those pills. Fuck you, Malcolm. Hey, yo, D. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? 
You ready to throw the ball before class? Uh, yeah, man. I'll meet you. All right, all right. Yeah, man. That that, that game last night <laughs> dominated. Championship's ours, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, Bruder. I'll meet you by the basketball courts. Yeah, sounds good, bro. All right. See you a little bit. All right. Let's go. Hey, yo, Deke. Yeah. When are you going to ask that girl out, Daniela? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting around to it. Getting around to it? Dude, you got to make a move. Deacon, you got to make a move. You've been liking this girl since we were wearing diapers. You, you got to make a move. That's all I'm saying. That's easy for you to say, Mike. See, I don't have a line of girls around the block trying to holler at me, man. Cut this shit. Like me. Dude, look look at you, man. You big, handsome guy. You got the tattoos. You got girls around you too, man. But where's what's what's different about this girl? You know I like her, man. This is it makes me a little nervous. That's all. Right. All right. How about this? How about I show you how to get her? Cause she's just a girl, man. Mike, don't even joke about that, man. You know how I feel about her. Deep. I'm just trying to get you out of your fucking shell, bro. Just getting you out of your shell. Okay, D. I'm serious, Keep Mike. Bros before hoes, man. Come on, man. Right. Keep Keep it's dibs, man. Come on. First dibs. Right. dibs. You're right. All right, bro. All right. Enough of this girl talk. Let's go back to class. Is uh, anyone sitting here? No. My name is uh, Mike, by the way. I know who you are. You're Michael Russo, captain of the football team. <laughs> well, yeah, it's me. Um, have we met before? You've gone out with like three of my friends, Mike. <laughs> you mean to tell me? You just now decided to notice me? <laughs> well, look, I saw you the other day and thought you were pretty cute, so... <laughs> Save it. I heard about what you did to Jennifer. Look, that was just a rumor. I swear, I didn't, I didn't even touch her. Get lost or I'll scream. All right. Deke! Hey, Deke, what's up, man? You guys did a great job of the game. Yeah, you know, my niece, Brittany, she goes to that school, too. She is talking about you all the time, man. Brittany? Yeah, Brittany. Oh. Hey, man. Man, look, I love Brittany, man. <laughs> Fucking tell that bitch. She's mine. Deke. I love that girl. What the fuck you doing, What are you doing? Hey, Mike. This, this, that, you know what? I'm doing something I should have done a long time ago. Fuck you! Ugh, fucker. Ugh. Son of a bitch. What the? <clears throat> She's taking my fucking spotlight, Mike. Fuck you, man! Fuck you! Take it, Rolf! Fuck Brittany, too, motherfucker. Good morning, Michael. <sighs> Who said that? It's me. I've been here the entire time. Your whole life. What? So my inner thoughts have a clear voice now? I have been trying to talk to you your whole life. It's good you can finally hear me. We have work to do. Work? 
What are you talking about? God, my head hurts. You'll see. First, get out of bed, and let's get out of here. Now I'll say it again, Gary. I'm Dr. Marcus. You were brought here by your family 10 years ago after you murdered your Vietnamese neighbors. They're all in Florida now. So please take your medicine and go to sleep. Quit playing these games on me, Kyle. You do it again, and I'm not gonna cover you next time we get sent back off to Vietnam. You're not in the war anymore, Gary. I told you. I'm Dr. Marcus, not Kyle. Doc? Where am I? Did I miss our session again? Now don't worry about that, Gary. You're never going to miss another session again. How did you sleep, Michael? Good. Speak up when your mother talks to you. Sorry, Dad. Good. Don't be smart with me, Michael. Remember what happened last time. John! Yes, Mary? All right, honey. I think the bus is here. Have a good day. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. How many times have I told John, you? Don't Stop coddling that boy. He is soft. He needs to be focus. disciplined. No. It's unbelievable why... You treat him just like your father treated you. Michael? Michael? Malcolm? I heard you. Can you please stop calling me that name? Now, Michael... I already have one, Brian, here. I don't need another. You're right. I'm sorry. Who's here to visit me anyways? Your mother. Oh, my sweet boy. Ma? What are you doing here? Oh, Michael. You're still my son, even after everything you've done. Sit down. So, um, how's, um, uh, how's Dad been? He died, Michael, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, uh, I can't help but feel responsible for what happened. Michael, I don't want to cause you any more pain, but you're killing yourself with these lies you're making up. Mom, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't do that. There you are, you fucking demon. Get out of my fucking son. <laughs> Doctor, we need an exorcist. <laughs> Mom, stop. What's he been telling you, Michael? That thing that's inside your head. He isn't your friend. Easy for her to say. Her only friend was your abusive piece of shit father. 
Enough! Both of you. Mom, don't you understand? If it wasn't for Deacon, I would have graduated college with honors. Been the best player they'd ever seen. I won the championship. I have a great life with Daniela. I live happily ever after, just like you and Dad did. Michael, that's all made up. What are you saying? Don't you remember, Michael, the day you came home from school? You nearly beat your father to death with a bat, Mike. I was honestly scared of you. We had to send you away. You were the reason we fought in the first place. What do you mean? Michael, you're a blessing, but an unplanned one. We did the best we could, but honestly, it wasn't easy raising you, especially off of the budget that we made. What are you talking about? Dad had a great office job making six figures. Michael, that was a joke. Your father was a garbage man, and I waited tables at night when you came home from school. Yeah, that's right. Michael, sweetheart, we loved you, but it wasn't easy. And your father, treating you the way his father treated him, didn't make it any easier. Hmm. How did he die? Your father lasted as long as he could after you did what you did. All you've ever known was juvie and prison. He said it reminded you of school. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. My time is up, my son. I love you. I love you too, mommy. <sighs> God, I thought she'd never leave. Shut the fuck up. This place is your home, and I'm your demon imaginary friend. Yeah, some life. I like the better on the run. More excitement in this fucking place. Do you want to get out of here? No shit. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Malcolm, what are you doing? I am doing something I should have done a long time ago. You had your chance, pussy, but now I'm shutting you out. I'm going to bust out of this place all by myself. But first, some unfinished business. Michael, doctor needs to see you now. Come on. Let's go. Oh, ah! 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 Michael, my beautiful boy. <laughs> Funny. Looks and sounds like him. But are you really the monster I grew up with? Me? A monster? Really, Michael? Have you seen what you've done? What you've become? I'm a better man than you ever were. Look in the mirror, Michael. There's no difference between you and me except I know how to hide my tracks. What are you talking about? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, Michael. I hate to admit it, but your lust of killing was passed down from me to you, Michael. You're not serious. Yes. You are never serious. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a liar then, and you're a liar now. I'm out of here. Michael. Michael. Malcolm! Some men are born evil, but others get twisted, beaten, scarred, 
choking for air until they have no choice but to kill. Before you came into this world, my job was to kill. Disappear. Leave no trace behind. And then start all over and do it again. My son. When you were born, you were born with something inside of you. Let's find out what that is. Dr. Marcus. Where are you, doctor? I just want to play. Is that me? Ooh, I was right. Looks like Dr. Marcus has a fetish for Michael after all. Michelle Russo. Naughty, naughty Michelle. You just wait until Michael finds out he has a sister who's even more fucked up than he is. Doctor! Come out, come out to play. Doctor Marcus! Come out to play! Dr. Marcus, call me out. Must be time for me to kill. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who we have here. Whatever happened to bros before hoes, man? You know, the last time I saw you, I was wasted. This time, I'm just tripping off Thorzine, baby! <laughs> Cut the shit. Cut the shit. Oh, yeah. I'll cut the shit now. I'll cut the shit real good. Oh, fuck yeah. That's just wrong. It's really sweet, Mikey. Really sweet. Sick son of a bitch. Put your hands up or I'll end you. Why would you want to end me, Cho? Aren't you curious where I hid your little girl's body? Put your hands up or I'll end you! She certainly has your good looks, but unfortunately she didn't have your strength. Wow. Nice. Oh my 
Michael, please. Don't do this. How do you know my name? Mom had me after you were sent away. They basically named me after you. That's impossible. Why don't you tell him what happened to his sweet mother, Michelle? I'm sure he'll love that. What's he, what's he talking about? Where's my mom? She wasn't a saint, Michael. She made my life a living hell. So I sent her there in return. You killed her? Yes. It was last week. I know who I am and my worth. Can you say the same, Michael? You're better than him. You're stronger than you think. You don't give yourself enough credit. Shut him up and shut him out. I don't know what to believe in anymore. I want out forever. Come on, come with me. I'm here for you, Michael. It can just be you and me looking out for each other. <laughs>